can snuggle up with a nice warm blankie during sacrament meeting if I get cold. I've been told many times that I'm way better looking when I'm wearing a mask. More time with my family and uh, I've been able to bake cookies because I love cookies. You only need makeup on half your face. I was always fearful whenever I left the house just how bad my breath was, but now, now I know. It's going from my nighttime jammies to my daytime jammies. Nice. I miss games. I miss them so much. I haven't seen one of my grandbabies for a whole year. I remember the days when Amazon wasn't my only friend who would knock at the door. My kids have disliked their new teacher in homeschool. I've ate too many cookies. It's starting to show. One thing that I've really missed is showing my latest dance moves with you at Youth Dances. The amount of young men and young women who faithfully serve missions despite unprecedented uh, conditions on their missions. Uh, the way that young men um, take their responsibility at the sacrament table with an increased reverence and responsibility, I just have really appreciated that. Families really come together and make strides in having just more consistent, more meaningful study together. And I like the way that our youth are resilient and they've been able to adapt. Um, well, I've watched you guys come together and be happy and uh, take everything on the chin and then wear masks and, and do the things that we've been asked to by the prophet and government. During the first snowfall that we had that big dump of snow come, um, our driveway was completely covered in about two and a half feet, feet of snow. Um, we started digging, but it was clear to us that our efforts were going to take a really long time to clear our driveway. When just then, somebody drove by in a truck with this big snow blower and parked across the street and just unloaded it and came over and snow blowed our driveway. We found out later he was a member of our new ward, but he didn't even say where. Like, he just came and did it out of the goodness of his heart. And we've seen a lot of good people doing good things during this pandemic. One way that I've seen the hand of God through this pandemic is with the implementation of the Come Follow Me program, just in time to help us be able to be successful with church at home. We've had neighbors that have been unable to go to church since this pandemic started. And because of it, we asked them to come to church with us. And they were so grateful for it because they just wanted to feel closer to our Heavenly Father. Having so many things taken from us, like being able to see friends and family, it's easy to focus on the negative, but it's also made me realize just how many blessings I have in my life, not only beforehand, but now. I have felt the hand of the Lord this year um, as I've listened to general conference um, messages from our leaders and counsel given that helps us to press forward and just keep swimming through it all. The guidance that we've been able to receive from our living prophet, that has been a great comfort to me when I see many around me who are distressed and worried and concerned for their families and their loved ones and they don't know where to turn. I'm so grateful that we have a prophet that we can turn to to get the guidance that we need to live during these difficult times. My aunt recently passed away. Um, the only day that would work for her funeral just happened to be the day before more restrictions were put in place. This allowed all of her boys to join and to come home and say goodbye to their mom, as well as many other extended family members. I know that Heavenly Father is aware of us and that he is in the details of our lives. Well, the Lord has seen our day. He has seen our conditions that we will live in. And in that time, he sent the prophet Joseph Smith to restore the church for us. And even now we enjoy a prophet in these the latter days.